guys welcome back to my channel today we're looking at how to make this beautiful palazzo trouser with elastic waistband please ensure you watch to the end and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel let's get to the working table okay the length of the palazzo trouser i'm working with is 40 inches and this palazzo will be having a two inches band elastic band i'll be attaching elastic to the waist band so what i'll be doing now i'll be minusing that two inches from it from the 40 inches which is the length to get 38 inches so i'll be marking 38 inches that 38 inches i'll add one inch extra to it for you can see the nature of the mark fabric i'll be folding the lower part of it i'll just weave it all around so i'll just add only one inch to it so that i can use it to attach to my waistline and also to weave the lower part so we need not watch hemming allowance because i won't be folding the lower part i'll just weave it around length is 40 minus 2 inches for band so i'll mark 38 inches and add one inch extra to it okay you ensure your material is on fold you fold it depends on the way you want your palazzo to be wide mine i'll be using 11 inches so i just measured 11 inches plus one inch and if you're very if, if you're someone that has a very big hip you can use your hip measurement to fold your fabric just fold using your hip measurement plus two inches so this is my starting line marked out my length so this will serve myself as my waistline so from last waistline i'll be minusing two inches from my band to get my crotch measurement my crotch line my knee line and my hip line my hip line which is the distance from my waist to my hip make sure you ensure you minus two inches to get this which is nine inches so I'll mark nine inches here and my waist my crotch line is 11 inches you ensure you minus two inches for your bank to get this measurement nine inches for my hip line 11 inches for my crotch line and 20 inches for my knee line so I'll just pull out the lines And so this material is printed material so you have to be careful while measuring taking your measurements the knee line Okay, so I've marked out the line. This is my waistline, my hip line, my crotch line, and my knee line. If you want to measure for your crotch, ask your client to sit on a flat surface, or you take the measurement from the center of your lap, like that, down to your waistline. Okay, on my waistline, I'll mark one inch. One inch. On my knee line, I'll mark 1.5 inches. Why at the lower part of my trouser, I'll mark 2 inches. My palazzo, I'll mark 2 inches just to get the shape. So I'll use my ruler to connect these lines together. So I'll just connect from my hemming line, which is the lower part of my trouser to my knee line okay. I'll connect from my waist to my hip using my curve ruler like this then from my hip to my knee So I'll just trim this out. Okay, as you can see, my pant is already having the shape I desire it to have. So just trim the excesses off. 
So I'll just take my waist measurements. The waist I'm working with is 34 inches divided by 4 to give me 8.5. So I'll mark 8.5. This I'm just trying to ensure it's equal. The material is kind of stretchy. I'll mark 8.5 here for my waistline. That's 34 divided by 4 plus 2 inches. Okay, for my hip line, I'll insert my hip measurement, which is 40 inches. 40 inches plus 2 inches for seam allowance. While well, the crotch line, I'll divide my crotch by 2. My crotch which is 13 inches. That's 26 inches divided by 2. Give me 13 inches. 13 inches. Plus one inch for seam allowance. My lines together, my waistline, my hip line, and my crotch line. You divide your crotch by two plus one inch. Why your hip measurement divide by four plus two inches? So I'll just go ahead and connect it together. Okay, this is my crotch line so since it's a palazzo trouser i won't be taking my knee measurement i'll just go straight to take the length of the the wideness of the palazzo trouser which i want it to be 11 inches so i'll just mark 11 inches here just mark 11 inches I'll add one inch extra for seam allowance. So I'll connect the lines together. If you want yours to be very wide, you can go ahead and measure it 12 like that, depending on how wide you want your palazzo to be. But I'm okay with 11 inches. So I'll just cut this out. See what we're having. This is the front part of the palazzo trouser. You can see. So I'll just go ahead and cut the back part. Okay, my material is still on fold. I'll place the front part on it, ensuring the lower part is equal with the front. Just ensure your material is equal so that you won't have one longer than the other. Okay. Just ensure you arrange your material properly on it. Okay, after placing my material, how are this? Crotch point, I'll mark 1.5 inches. 1.5 inches. Then at the back part here, that's this area, I'll come up by 1 inches. Then at the front part, I'll come down by 1 inch for my trousers loop. Then I'll connect it to this point. Sorry, I didn't cut this out earlier on. I want to place it on the back before show you guys. Just come down by one inch. Because of the butt, you wouldn't want it to be equal. Then as for the back part, you come up by one inch. So I'll just connect it like this, then cut the front part out. Sorry about my chalk. The material is actually not really helping. So I'll just slant it up like this just ensure you mark one inch you can come down by one and a half just based on your preference 
So I'm okay with one inch like this. Then for the back part, you come up by one inch. Whatever you go down with at the front part, that's what you go up with at the back part. So I'll just come up by one inch and also make sure it's equal at this point. You just connect it like this. Connect it to this side. You make sure it's equal at this point. You make sure it's equal at this point. So, so this side will look like. So I'll just curve it to meet up with the 1.5. So you just connect like this to meet up with the 1.5. Then I'll at the lower part, I'll mark half inch. That's at this area. I'll mark half inch. Then I'll just connect it to meet up with the half inch at the lower part. So sorry, I'm using a free hand. I just feel it's better this way. So you just connect to meet up with the half inch at the lower part. At the crotch area, you measure 1.5. You extend your crotch width 1.5. At the back, you extend it 1 inch. At the front part, you bring it down by 1 inch. Then you extend it at the back width 1 inch. At this, at the bottom area, you come out by 1 inch. So I'll just go ahead and cut this out. If you do this accurately, you get a perfect balance for your shirt. You can just leave this one inch at the back part because this trouser will not be having no that because of the nature of the fabric. I will be inserting the dart to it so you can ignore the one inch and just go ahead and cut it equal. You just follow the shape and cut exactly what you have at this area, at the back area, at this angle. You just cut exactly what you have there. Then you extend the upper one and the crotch area. So I'll just cut this out. If you are inserting a dart, that's when you come out by one inch. But since I won't be inserting any dart to this side, we'll be ignoring this part. So you just make sure it's equal. I'll just cut it out. I just choose to tell you guys, in case your fabric is not like mine, you just cut it out. You make sure you cut this exactly as how you place it, which is this area from the hemming area. You just make sure it's equal and you cut it out. Due to the nature of this material, you can choose not to add any allowance to it because it's that is pleated. So I'll just trim up the side area okay this is what i'm having after i cut my trouser this is the front and this is the back okay so that's it for here so move that over to the band i'll mark a length of four inches by the time i fold this into two it will be two inches then i'll also take my waist measurement plus two inches for seam allowance i'll just just that now so the band will be 36 inches long, then 4 inches wide, then you fold into two. And when you are cutting for your band, you make sure you follow the pattern. It has to be straight like this. You can see how it is. So I folded it into two, I'll just mark two inches. Okay. You can see this is for my band. By the time you put an elastic band, since it's stretchy, to just bring it together. So this will start for my band, my waistband. So let's go to the sewing part. So I will just go to my machine and I will sew from the waistline along my crotch area straight to the end here using half inches. Just as you can see like this, we just sew like this you make sure it's equal you join the front separately before joining the back you sew from this point like this using half inches down to the end of the crotch area for the front so i'll just sew it like this down to this point so i'll do same thing for the front and the back okay i'll join the front i've joined the fronts together just like i said i will do can see how it's looking 
this trouser is a very free pants it won't be tight at all you can see the back i joined it using half inches so i'll just join the side and the center part i'll just pick the front place it against the back right side facing each other i advise you use elastic band for your trouser if not to not to end up becoming too big because of the nature of the fabric if you are using this kind of material you can see how stretchy it is so the elastic will bring it up together so i'll just place it like this and sew the two both sides together before sewing the the middle part you first of all sew the side area for sewing this part okay i'll just do just that now Okay, lest I forget, I'll be attaching a pocket to this palazzo trouser. Since I'll still attach a 2 inches band, I won't be coming down too low for my pocket. I'll just mark 1 inch here at the waist area. I'll mark 1 inch along the waist area and come down by 6 inches for my pocket. I won't be doing the normal pocket cuff. We just attach the pocket the way we attach our gun pocket. The way you attach pocket to your gun, that's the method you use to attach this pocket. Because I don't want, we will not slant anything, you just max six inches and one inches downward from your waist area. Because of the band, that's why I just mark one inch, inch, inch. So, I'll just bring my fabric, fold into two. Then I'll place my hand on it like this. Remember this material is stretchy. So just place your hand and cut out your pocket. Okay, you can see what I did. So I'll just open up this area. So when you are sewing for your pocket, you start one inch before the like you come down by one inch on both sides. You can see how stretchy it is. So definitely it's more than six inches. So I'll just place this on another folded one like this. I'll just fold another material like this. Just pick my material and fold again. Then cut out for my other pockets. So it will be a total of four pieces. I'll just join two pieces together and so you can see how I placed it so I'll just cut it out okay this pocket is very easy to attach you just come down by one inch then open it then sew each round leaving about at about one inch on both ends then you open up and attach to your to your palazzo trouser okay i've joined the two sides together uh, the two sides and i left six inches distance for my pocket at both sides you can see for my pocket do now is to join the center of my trouser and if you want to join the center of your trouser you ensure that the both crotch are equal like they should meet each other like this where you sewed here the center part you ensure they meet against each other then you start your sewing from one end to the other end you can see what i'm saying you just hold this part make sure it's equal if you can go you can go ahead to pin it up you can go ahead to pin it up if you are a beginner and you don't know how to do this you can pin it up in order not to make mistake you pin up the crotch area just place it against and ensure it's equal then you pin it together i can sew it without pinning it but because of those that are not used to sewing pants trousers you just pin it up like this then you sew you sew from one end to your to the other first of all you join the side area before you join the center part so I'll just go ahead and do that, then I will insert my pocket. Attached my pocket at the both side. 
you can see I just fix it the way we fix pocket on our gown it's very simple you just open it up and sew it at both ends so center part of my trouser on the side area so what I'll be doing now is to attach the band elastic band one inches wide you minus four inches from your waist measurement my waist measurement is 34 inches minus 4 will give me 30 inches so I'm using a band that is 30 inches long because it's stretchy to be enough for what I want to use it for so I'll just go ahead and fold my fabric into two like this okay for my band I'll just fold it into two and sew it all around I'll just leave a space at one end where I can fix my elastic through it okay I just attached the elastic band using my pin so right now I'll just stitch it up here then close up this area this is the end look of my palazzo trouser you can see how beautiful it's looking it's already looking like an already made trouser you can see the waist looking so beautiful please ensure you like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you have any comments to make please drop your comment on the comment section i love you all